welcome back. So Rotai is another retube fly. This one's basically just a chartreuse and black. So what I have, this is a tube fly adapter, the HMH tube fly adapter. In that I have my tapered needle and then the black tubing. This is a medium and the, sh the chartreuse or the lane green tubing here. This is a, a small, now, there's lots of manufacturers out there basically that do these tubes but these are the ones here that I'm using, these are the, the aimer. Now Vanyards do their own and there's lots of people that do them so just basic, basically pays your money, takes your choices. Just doesn't matter what thread you use really, because we're going to put a cone on the front or a turbo disc in this case, I'm just using a Uni 380 in white. I'm just going to catch my thread on and I'm basically catching the thread on and just securing the the two tubes together, the extra small and the medium tubing and then we're just going to work this back just to there, now the tag uh, at the back is going to be a an open mirage tinsel and this is just the open mirage tinsel and large that I'm using so I'm just going to catch it in so there are a couple of turns to tighten up and I'm just going to work this down two turns to create the, the tag and back up but because you're going over the black tubing you're getting that nice peacock type colour off the mirage and then we'll come in and trim that away the rib I'm going to make the rib a chartreuse wire just going to show you the spool in a second this is just the, the UTC chartreuse wire that I'm going to use Just off of that up, and then I'm just going to tie this and just sort of way halfway up the length of the body or so. And just bring my thread back down nice and tight to the, the rear body. It's just going to be a large holographic tinsel and chartreuse. This one here, get it right the right way for you. Catch this in on my side, just put it in the length and then work our thread up. And then we'll just come up with our chartreuse. And I'm just going to overlap this coming up to there and then follow this around with a couple of nice tight turns to secure that in. Come in and trim away the waist. Now the dubbing at the front is just going to be some rainbow light bright. And this type of fly, but like the the one that I tied the, the tornish, you want plenty of dubbing on the on the pattern bring your thread to the front and then I'm just going to come up with four turns of the wire up the body anything I want to go forward just sweep it back and bring your thread in front and then catch this in then you can bend and bring away the remainder of the wire now I'm just going to come in and brush some of this out I'm just going to brush it down A wee bit long, just come on with your scissors. Just take it off. Just brushing it down so we can get the wing to come in and this one be a bit too long, just take that away to get the wing as set as low as we possibly can. Now three parts of the wing on this one. First one, this is fin raccoon and uh, chartreuse. 
just trim that away. Now you don't want the, see all the under fur? You want to take all this out as much as you can. What you really want this is just a wee tiny drop of the, the softer mobile fiber. That's the, mostly the straight, the straight hair that you're after here. Now, I'm just going to take a wee bit more of that out. Just offer this up, just sort of way, probably around about the, the length of the, the black tubing. I should have said the, the medium tubing, which is the black. Um, I trimmed that around about two and a half centimeters, something like that. So I'm just going to tighten into that and come back up. On top of that, I'm just going to put on some. This is like a lame green fox tail. So just want to get myself a nice pinch of this. Trim that away. See again, they're going to take away the vast majority of the, I want this longer, just slightly longer than the, than the chartreuse fin raccoon, just to there, nice tight turns, on top, come in and nip that away. And on top of that, we're looking some uh, goat and black. Oh. Want this to be longer on the the lame green fox. So just come in, just take, sort of like bring it all together, just to check the length. That I want pinch it on top of the tube, come around with a pinching loop, a couple of tight turns, just make it sure it's sitting where you where you want it. Now the style of this fly is that you you want the wing to be as slim as you can really tie it on top like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some uh, flash into the wing. Should have already had this ready. I'm just looking at some uh, mirror flash. I'm just going to put a strand on either side. So, take a couple of turns, turn it in, and fold this side back over onto your side. And work my thread back up and just trim that the length. Then you want your jungle cock at this point. So we've got two eyes here. So we'll take away all the just take away all the rubbish from the bottom. Catch this eye and on my side, and then catch this one in on your side. And I want them just down the sides of the tube. You can just check the length. Yep, I'm happy enough with that. So just tighten up nice and tight, then come in and fold back the stems and work your thread back up over the top and keep your thread tight you can break away the, the two stems now we're, we're not looking too bad another couple of turns there now you want to put some more of the, the dubbing in front at this point so we're just going to go back to our Rainbow light bright. Just come in and just hold everything back. Nice and 
tape and any, bright, any excess just take it away bring your thread in front any of the longer pieces just come in and take those away then I'm going to come in and just hold the wing in the jungle cock eyes just pluck this out a wee bit just bring more of the the flash into the wing so the front haggle you're looking at a hand haggle in this case this one here has been dyed a, a lame green it's more to the chartreuse side I should say we're just going to come around with a couple of turns catch that in fold the tip back a couple of turns in front break away the tip much like a tan on a hook turns here up to yourself usually about a turn turn and a half does me the main thing here is guys that you want to try and keep all your dressing on the the medium tubing if you can you might get away with just having your the last hackle tied on the the extra small tubing now you just do there just follow this around with your thread and get a couple of tight turns in secure in that haggle, just push your thread out of the way, come in with your scissors, trim away the waste. Anything that wants to go forward, just come in and sweep it back, just be favour there, just on the thread. Bring your thread back up tight against the, the haggle. And you can see the shape that you're getting, what you're trying to do is you on this day the tube is create the, the teardrop shape, just the best that you can. I'll still catch fish. Then on the front, I'm just going to put in a, this is a lace wing. This is a hen haggle as well. Dyed in chartreuse. Fold the tip back. A bit of fibre, just doing the nut in there, but we've got it sorted out. Come in, break away the tip of the haggle. And then we're looking probably a turn and a half, the two turns of this. Just always being mindful that I'm trying to complete the fly while we're on the uh, medium tubing. Don't mind going on to the, the extra small tubing. I just want to try and get the, the turbo disc onto the as tight as I can up against the, the haggle. Right. I'm just not happy with that, so I'm just going to come back a wee touch just to here. If you're not happy, always go back. here too you don't want to build up too much thread with the front either because that will stop the the disc from getting right up tight into the into the haggle so you can see the shape that you get you get that nice nice shape with it and all that dubbing as well coming out so of chit chat, just take a wee like a super glue. You don't need the whip finish, you can if you wish. Then come in and trim away the thread. Then the cone that I'm using, this is just an extra small. And the rainbow colour. We drop a glue on. And then just push your cone tight up against your tube. There you go, guys. Now, all you have to do is we need to take it out of the adapter. Let's 
to make sure everything is sitting nice for us. Pull everything back. Come in and trim away. Take another wee bit off that actually. And then come in with your lighter and just mushroom the the plastic down. So we hold in the in the plastic I just like to make it a wee bit wider with my needle just so there's no there's no problems getting that on. I'll just put it back on to here so you can see it. Oh. There you go guys. And like I say, you can tie them in all sorts of colours. So you can colour combinations up to you. But the main thing for me is when you're tying them is you try and tie them the majority of the dressing onto the <coughs> excuse me, beg your pardon, onto the, the medium cone. So hopefully as I've got some from that guys, there's many videos on YouTube um, on YouTube at the minute and with tube flies and there's people that can dress them better than me but it's just to show you you can use the materials that you have, you don't need to be going out and buying specialised materials to, to tie tube flies when you've already got all the, all the materials there. So until the next time, please stay safe, enjoy your fishing. And uh, all being well, I'll see you on the next one guys.